Hey, what's up guys? Today, I'll show you a horror thriller film, New Witness. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. The movie kicks off with the killer stalking an unsuspecting woman from the shadows. The killer breathes heavily as he monitors the unsuspecting woman outside the window. A minute later, she goes to the other room, and the killer breaks in through the window and scans the room for potential victims. At the same time, news from the radio that three prisoners managed to break free from a maximum security ward last night after killing three ward employees. Next, she closes the cabinet and goes out of the bathroom, but the killer is nowhere to be seen. Instead, the woman spots bloodstained footprints on the carpet leading to the door. She yells for her husband. She glances to her side and finds the main entrance open, so she approaches it to shut it. As she closes the door, her husband's corpse falls and the woman screams in shock. She then goes over to her husband's side, bewildered by his current state. Subsequently, the killer slowly looms from behind. Still unaware of the killer, the woman runs over to the telephone and tries to dial for help. Soon after, she realizes that there's no dial tone and then discovers that the foam cord has been cut off. Afterward, the woman sees the killer and backs off, terrified for her life. Due to fear, she isn't able to react and escape the situation. She loses her balance and falls over to the bed. The killer then mercilessly stabs her multiple times. After the evil deed, the man nonchalantly removes his mask, sits at the table, and rolls a cigarette as he watches his victim suffer a slow death. The killer then puts the freshly rolled cigarette in his mouth, and his accomplice, the prisoner, lights his cigarette for him. Then the third accomplice, the young killer, offers them both a drink and takes a swee afterward. A crowd quietly watches the whole scene from the background. It turns out it's a movie set. The unsuspecting woman goes the extra mile by taking a while to die after being stabbed. But her absurd acting made some of the crew snickers. Speechless by the overacting, the director instructs the cameraman to stop filming. The director then heads over to the unsuspecting woman and calls out for the translator. The director then talks to the unsuspecting woman and explains in English that she didn't have to trash the set. He just needs her to properly die after being stabbed. The translator does her job in conveying it in Russian. The director then instructs the whole crew to retake the scene. Meanwhile, Billy is the props manager on set. Her sister and co-worker helped her. She tells the killer how to make the knife bleed when he stabs the innocent victim. After confirming that the killer has understood the instructions, the sister summons the translator. A prominent Russian guy in charge of the set advises the director that redressing the set would take at least a day. The director complains, but with little option, he informs the crew and the cameraman that they get a close-up of the unsuspecting woman's corpse instead, and call it a day. To make matters worse, as they were about to get the close-up shot, the lights turned off since it was time to close the set. It's almost dark, and most of the movie crew head out. Billy signals to her sister that she needs to get back to the set to get some equipment for the next day. The sister tells Billy that they'll wait for her, but her boyfriend, the director, somewhat objects, stating that they should go ahead. Billy agrees with the director and tells her sister that she's fine and that they should go. The director reminds Billy to pass by their place since he's making his special dish. Later, Billy searches the other objects for the tools she needs. She hears the door shut and thinks she's trapped. She rushes to the window to capture the caretaker's eye. She beats on the window in vain. When she gets there, she finds everything all locked up. Meanwhile, the director prepares his specialty dish while music blasts in the background. While adding up some flavoring, the cab accidentally falls off with tons of spice. He then removes the lid from the pan and turns the music volume down since the phone rings. The director tells his girlfriend, the sister, to get the phone, but she's unable to do so since she's taking a shower. And so, he sets the pan aside and runs over to answer the phone. On the other side of the line, Billy taps on the phone, trying to communicate via Morse code. After a few calls out, he hangs up to tend to his dish with no answer. Moments later, at dinner, the sister tells her boyfriend that the person who called earlier might be Billy. The director apologizes for not realizing it right away. He was busy preparing the dish. The sister tries calling her back, but no answer. On the other hand, Billy hears some noise and decides to investigate. She opens on what appears to be an old elevator door and hears people talking below. As she's about to head down, some the phone rings. On the other side of the line, the sister is relieved to get hold of Billy. Billy confirms that all is good, assuming that the people downstairs can help. She heads down and enters the room where she hears a woman moaning. She takes a closer look and realizes that they're filming an adult film, and the man behind the camera is the Russian guy who was flirting with her earlier that day. She's unsure of how to react at that intense but awkward moment. 
The Russian guy suddenly stops them and tells the masked man on top of the blonde. They resume filming the nasty footage a few seconds later. Billy leans to the side to observe. The masked man lightly slaps the blonde as if some fetish. Then without warning, he slaps the blonde hard multiple times. The masked man on top is rough with the blonde and she tries to fight back, but the masked man grips both of her hands and grabs a rope on top of the bed. Afterward, the masked man gets a knife hidden below a pillow, before brutally stabbing her to death. It horrifies Billy as she witnesses the gruesome slaughter. She tries to flee from the awful scene unnoticed, but she accidentally stumbles upon a mannequin stand. The Russian guy filming the whole thing hears the noise and decides to check it out. On the other hand, Billy goes back upstairs and runs to the dark hallway to evade the pursuing Russian. With only one exit in sight, Billy breaks the glass to get hold of the key and plans to escape through the emergency exit. But the Russian guy is slowly approaching, and she decides to hide in the nearest room instead. She ends up hiding in the broken elevator shaft, but unfortunately, drops the key to the emergency exit in the process. The masked man and the Russian guy chops the body and dumps the body below the broken elevator, dragging the key. Billy tries to get hold of the key by going down further the elevator shaft, then hides in the trash bags under the dismembered body of Blonde. The Russian guy calls out to the masked man to light up the shaft using the flashlight. They lock the elevator doors before heading out when they think everything is clear. Billy manages to get out of the elevator shaft after the masked man comes for the body, but they spot her and run after her. She can get out of the emergency exit, but the Russian guy catches up at the exit, and she falls to a stockpile of film roll below. The Russian guy goes to her and holds her down, but before he can do anything else, the sister arrives with her boyfriend, the director. Billy signals to her to call the police instead of an ambulance. After the police arrive and interrogate everybody, the Russian guy alibis that it was all a misunderstanding and what the Billy witness was actually testing for the film, and that they kept it a secret not to hurt Billy's feelings. The alibi is somewhat valid, and so to test it out, they need to see the film to actually know if it's real or not. Afraid that the Russian guy might sabotage the film role by exposing it to light, the sister removes the film instead. While everybody's attention is focused on removing the film, Billy sees the masked man suspiciously doing other things. The masked man then slowly approaches the director, and suddenly, stabs him multiple times. The startled policeman grab the masked man, and the sister checks on the director's wounds, but there are none. The director wasn't hurt or anything. It's a prop knife. There are no murders at all, and what she witnessed was a practice for the director's film. However, Billy argues that there's a body, and the police escort everybody to head over the elevator shaft. They inspect all the garbage bags, but discover no mutilated bodies or anything else indicating a homicide. The suspect's alibi is all checked out, and without single evidence as of yet, the police give his call-in card and inform the siblings that they will call them and give an update once they checked on the film roll. Later, the janitor does his night round at the studio and locks the doors. Afterward, he notices his dog is missing and looks for it through the dimly lit room. He hears his dog whimper from a distance, and so the old janitor walks towards his possible location. Next, he sees something that catches his attention. Unsure what it is, he slowly approaches it to take a closer look. To his surprise, it's a skull. He takes a step back due to shock and accidentally loses his balance. On his back, he spots his dog and tries to shake it awake, only to discover his dog dead. The masked man then emerges from the shadows and kills the janitor. Meanwhile, the masked man and the Russian guy smoke when two cars approach them back at the studio. They seem to be expecting the cars. The Russian guy goes over and meets the boss. The boss informs the Russian guy that they will only get paid until the witness is silenced. So the masked man and Russian guy head over to Billy's place to kill her. Later that night, Billy has a meal together with the sister and her boyfriend. The director offers to call the U.S. Embassy's duty officer to report the situation before leaving Billy at her place. Next, the ambassador's secretary, with the assistance of the Russian investigator, visits the station of the responding police officers who went to the scene earlier. The Russian investigator shares to the secretary that they've been tracking gangsters running prostitution and adult film rackets in Moscow. The leader of the Mafia, a man called the Reaper, is known for his brutality. Billy prepares a bath on the same night, when suddenly, the phone rings. She goes over to pick it up, and she uses a gadget that can help talk to her over the phone, but no answer. Back at the police station, the secretary and the Russian investigator review the tape, showing the scene the director was working on. Instead of a snuff film, what they see is rather sarcastically comical enough to be cringe. The sister later calls Billy, and after a brief exchange, Billy's doorbell makes a sound, indicating that someone's at the door. It's almost one in the morning. The sister instructs Billy not to get the door, but Billy is already checking on the peephole. 
Billy opens the door when the masked man suddenly appears with no soul in sight. She's able to secure the door with the chain bolt before opening it and tries to push the door close, but the masked man has his foot inserted to keep the door from closing. He then tries to force the door open by using a bolt cutter. Billy tries to fight it off by pushing it away, using an umbrella. After the struggle, Billy manages to completely close the door. But the masked man has other means of getting the door open, a machine ref from outside. Billy realizes the danger. She tries to inform her sister of the situation, but the sister has already hung up and goes to Billy's apartment. She tries to contact somebody, but it becomes too late due to the language barrier. Soon after, the masked man manages to open the door. She tries to protect herself with a knife in her hand, but it's futile. After a brief struggle, she runs for the door but meets the Russian guy. She runs in the opposite direction and locks herself in the bathroom. The masked man tries to break the door open, and when the door almost breaks, he charges at the door. But the quick-thinking Billy opens the door, causing the masked man to bang his head off the bathroom wall. Billy successfully subdues the much larger masked man with a plugged-in blower, electrifying him to death. She then runs out but is stopped by the Russian guy who asks her for something. Billy doesn't understand the question, and when she knows what he is asking for, the Russian guy tries to rape her. In retaliation, Billy stabs him with a pencil. The Russian guy moans in pain and tries to stab her back, but right then the Russian investigator comes to her aid. He knocks out the Russian guy with the bolt cutter. They head down the elevator but stop on the third floor, thinking that the gang boss's crew might be on to her and waiting on the first floor. But it's the sister and her boyfriend, not the gang. They just miss each other. Billy rides the Russian investigator's car and rides off. Unbeknownst to them, the boss's actual crew are at the other side of the street waiting, and when they ride off, they start tailing them. The Russian investigator notices this and informs Billy that it's not over yet. Back at Billy's apartment, the sister sees the dead body in the tub and pulls her boyfriend, the director, on time before Russian guy could hit him with the bolt cutter. Then the couple runs over to the room and locks themselves up. The Russian guy realizes that it would take great effort and time to get them, so he gives up and sits in the corner. Two police officers who appear to work for the boss arrive a minute later. The Russian guy signals to them that they're in the room. One officer enters the room and fires a weapon with a silencer at the Russian guy, killing him. On the road, the Russian investigator informs Billy that the blonde woman she witnessed murdered has a boyfriend who stole from the gang boss a diskette, which is full of information about the boss underworld empire, the whole shebang. It's revealed that the blonde woman's boyfriend blackmailed the boss, and now the boss thinks Billy has the same diskette. This is why they keep hunting her. Later, Billy recalls she saw the diskette in her escape, and reveals its location when the Russian investigator becomes suspicious. She cuts the Russian investigator at the steering wheel, thinking that the Russian investigator might be working with the boss and his mafia, but he is actually on her side and is a double agent. Later, after finding the diskette, they cooperate to make a show using the props, making the boss believe that she's dead. The movie ends with the Russian investigator wondering why the boss doesn't get the diskette from him. It turns out that the boss plans to kill the Russian investigator by raiding his car with a bomb. Luckily, Billy realizes that something's up, and just in time, the Russian investigator jumps off the car before the car explodes, killing everyone inside. This is Daniel's CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.